DIY owl wall art I'm here and we are going to be showing you how to make um DIY wall art owl yeah <laughs> and Julia is going to be showing you okay. what you need I don't know if they can see you can you okay. we'll watch it over see if you can see her here make it to where they can't see all that light from your window and hey, started. it's all here, and me and Julia over there are going to show you how to make DIY owl wall art. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So what you will need is some Sharpies. Um, take a, it's something circle, not too big. But, but not but not too small too small i mean this big i don't know like in the middle That's of like the duct tape circle in the middle of the tape like this size would work i guess you can say but be but, like kind of too small but don't make it too big because then it would look weird yeah Okay, so you're going to start out with your circular thing i'm using this thing and you're just going to place it on this thing like that far from the thing and then like a little bit closer Wait, from are you edge. Your paper this way? Yep. I am. Okay. And okay, so you're just gonna do that and you're gonna trace the circle on the bottom. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna Okay. Do that. So now since I've done that one, I'm gonna just do the other eyeball and I'm gonna put it about how far I did the edge and try to get it lined up how it is. And there should be like that big of a gap between the two. And I'll be back once I do so after you have that, um, we're going to now draw the beak. So I'm going to draw it, and then I'm going to show you in a minute. These are my eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next we did a beak. All you do is a simple line across this way, then one down this way, and one down this way. And so it's like you're making a trapezoid without the line on the bottom. And just make okay. a point for the bottom. Like that, and... If you think that's too hard, then you just, can just do a regular, do a regular triangle. triangle. Let me try to show you how to do this. It took me like a long time to figure out how to do this. Just saying. You know, a line like that. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. You can. Yeah, you can see that. Two lines like that. Can you see that? I'm sorry. I just like. Okay. Hold on. And then you're going to do one down. Like that. And then you're going to do another one. Like that. And you can always perfect it. But if you think you never turn out right when you do it, then. Just do a regular triangle. Just do a regular triangle. So, this is mine. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you. So now I'm going to show you how to do his belly and like his like f top feathers on his forehead. So I just did the the stomach belly thing and I just went from corner up to the beak and I went from over here from the corner up to the beak. And now I'm going to show you like the triangle thing that goes up here. So my belly on my owl is not perfect. And it's the Alexa ball. You want to see it? See, like, this one stops right here, and this one stops, like, way down here. One's closer to the corner, and one's closer to, like, not the corner. So, yeah. But no one's owl is perfect. Okay. So, I just did my triangle. So, what I did is I put a dot Hello. right here between the two eyeballs right there. And then I drew this one up to the corner, and I drew that one up to the corner. So now he looks like this. And I'm, I prefer not to put it over his eyeballs because it just makes him look angry. I think it looks cuter without it covering his eyeballs. Okay, so my owl is not perfect, but I think I did better on the top, like his top triangle the thing on his head. Better than his stomach. And, and so... 
looks like. And I really like it. And we're going to show you how to do your, the eyes before we color it. Yeah, before we color it. And we will show you what we did to our owls to make them personalized. Action. Okay. People. And it's not this hard, that hard, but it kind of is hard. So you're going to make a circle. I colored one of them in so you can probably see it better. You're going to make a circle about that size or depending on how big you did your outer circle. And then you're just going to want to fill it in all the way. And let me show you what that means or is whatever. Okay, so you're going to have a simple little circle like that or like that. And then you're going to color it in all the way like that. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to show you mine. Mine look like this. Hers are touching the actual outer edge. Mine aren't. So you can do it either way. You can even put it in the middle. You can put their one eyeball up here and one eyeball down here. I don't know. Just do so something. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color mine in. And then we are going to color ours in. And we're going to show you them yeah, in a me. second. Okay. Okay. So this is mine. And... I went with a squiggly thing, a squiggly belly, and then I colored it in. And I took some colors from it, and I made some stripes, and I colored that in purple. Gave it some eyelashes, colored the beak that color. So, yeah. Okay. For mine, I did, whoa. I did a plain color with a pink bow and some polka dots with purple behind it. And then some random line, like scribbles everywhere and I did like a color scheme and also you don't have to use just sharpies you can use crayons or these whatever and you also use color pencils too but yeah um so anything that yeah. makes color and you can also use any paper or at a time so we hope you enjoyed this DIY and hope you try it out yourself. So yeah, bye. bye.